the metric lens of a certain high school light you vote for the chairperson of the RCL. The scatter plot below shows the IQ of the 10 learners who received the most votes and the number of votes that they received. Before the election, the popularity of each of the 10 learners was established and a popularity score was assigned to each. The popularity scores and the number of votes of the same 10 learners who received the most votes are shown in the table below. Right, and then the first question, 1.1, 1.1.1. Let's calculate the mean of the number of votes that these learners received. So I'm not going to do anything manually. I'm going to calculate using my calculator. So let me go ahead and do that. I want to find the mean of the number of votes. So I'm concentrating on only one variable. I'm going to press mode setup and then three for stats, one for one variable right because i'm only interested in one variable so the number of votes we have nine followed by 22 10 21 11 15 20 12 19 and 16 Right, you have to verify that you've entered the correct data because if you've not, your answers are going to be incorrect. Right, now you press equals to you a couple of times and then you press AC. From there on, shift 1 and then you go to option 4, VAR. Right, and then when you press option 4, you're going to have X bar, which is the mean. So when I press 2 and it goes to you, I get 15.5. So that is the mean. Uh, the mean, uh, the y bar in this case, because the number of the votes are y, y bar is equal to 15.5. You might be asking yourself, but we are only writing the answer. What about the formula or the substitution? Am I not going to those marks? No, even if you write only the answer, you get full marks. So you don't have to worry about that. 1.1.2, we're looking for the standard deviation of the number of votes that these learners received. So let's go ahead and find the standard deviation. We're going to press AC. Shift, we've already entered our data. We don't have to tamper with it or enter it again. So shift 1, and then we're going to choose option 4. And then now we press standard deviation, which is option three, right? In your calculator, it might be a different option, but as long as you choose the correct option, it goes to, and I'm getting 4.59 if I, if I round it off to two decimal places. So our standard deviation is equal to 4.59, rounded off to two decimal places. Let's go ahead and do 1.2. So in 1.2, uh, the question is saying that the learners who received fewer votes than one standard deviation below the mean were not invited for, for an interview. How many learners were invited? So now we have to determine the value of one standard deviation below the mean. So we're going to have Y bar minus the standard deviation. Right, uh, this is equals to what is the mean 15.5, the standard deviation 4.59, and this should be equals to 10.91. So, how many learners had less than 10.91 votes? Let's go ahead and find out. So, we have one, uh, the learners received nine votes, two. Uh, what else? Right, so two learners were not invited for the interview. So the learners that were invited, we're going to have 10 minus 2, which is equal to 8. So only 8 learners were invited. Two learners had the votes, one standard deviation below the mean. Uh, that is 1.1. Let's take a look at 1.3. In 1.3, we're supposed to determine the equation of the least squares regression line for the data given in the table. 
how are we gonna do that ac mode three for stats and now we're interested in two variables so that is option two a plus bx which is the equation of our least square cell regression line y is equals to a plus bx so let's go ahead and press two and enter our data we're going to start with the x values as far as the x values are concerned we have 32 89 35 30 not 32 but 82 right 50 59 81 40 79 65 right now i have to go ahead and punch in the y values so let me go up to the first x value so you have to punch in the y value close to its corresponding x value right so 39 is going with 9 89 is going with 22 35 with 10 21 11 15 20 12 19 and 16 there we go i have my data 16 not 17 right the y value is 65 and the x value is 16 right there we go now we can press ac shift one uh, instead of choosing option four i'm going to put i'm going to choose option five which is regression so in option five i have my variables a and b which i need right so for the variable a you press one and then press equals to as you can see a is equals to 1.77 rounded off to two decimal places let's go ahead and find b so if i want to find b then it is ac shift one well shift one right five and then i'm looking for b now that is option two this is equals to 0 0.22 so b is equals to 0 0.22 y is equals to 1.77 plus 0 0.22 x yeah there we go we have the equation of the least square cell regression line uh, let's go ahead and do 1.4 so 1.4 predict the number of votes that a learner with a popularity score of 72 will receive the popularity score is the x value so we just need to substitute it into this equation we're gonna have y being equals to 1.77 plus 0 0.22 multiplied by x what is the value of x the popularity score 72 in your calculator you're gonna get 17.61 but you cannot have 17.61 votes so let's just round it off to 18. so yes if you have a popularity score of 72 you're gonna get right about 18 votes right let's go ahead and do 1.5.1 use the scatter plot and the table above and provide a reason why IQ is not a good indicator for the number of votes that a learner could receive. As you can see from the scatter plot here, uh, there's no correlation between IQ and the number of votes. This person has a very low IQ and so many votes. And this person has a very high IQ and they have a lot of votes. Even the people in the middle with average IQ, they have a lot of votes. So there isn't really a relationship between IQ and the number of votes, it seems right and then so that is why iq is not a good indicator because yeah there is a very low correlation between the iq and the number of votes why is the prediction in 1.4 reliable well in 1.4 we are using the popularity score to determine the number of votes that a person is going to get that is because we have a very high correlation 
well you can use shift one and go to five for regression and press the option that gives you the correlation coefficient uh, in this case it is going to be 0 0.98 a very high correlation will lead to a reliable prediction